the beacon for the nation. Angela Wislamu the Puanza Lianzai. Ulianza Kosti Diraj. Ulianza Kopani Pole. Mere Adam, Alehi Salam. Si umeonye shoko mani bora kuli kwa malaika. Hawa malaika wa mkusubidi ya we. Kwa hivu hata ukiwa malakei ni, ni jambo kubwa kwa hakika na wawa mkusubidi ya we. Mwenye zimgu subhanahu wa ta'ala anasema wala talbisu lhaqa musichangani haqi au kweli bilbatili na uongo. Karika tembo kuna dhambi nyingi na faida kidogo. Ukiwa wewe asema Qur'ani ni uzuri utizame katika msohafu. Ufikirie yale unawe asoma. Qur'ani kita mchangu, Qur'ani muongozo wangu, Qur'ani muombezi wangu, Qur'ani pumba onangu. Qur'ani kita mchangu, Qur'ani muongozo wangu, Qur'ani muombezi wangu. Horizon TV, the beacon for the nation. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بعد عود بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نجمة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان. Next, give the mic to the next one. Continue. Any other سورة. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين يجتنبون كبائر الإثم والفواحش إلا اللمم إن ربك واسع المغفرة هو أعلم بكم إذ أنشأكم من الأرض وإذ أنتم وإذ أنتم أجنة في بطون أمهاتكم فلا تزكوا أنفسكم هو أعلم بمن اتقى أفرأيت الذي تولى وأعطى قليلا وأكدى أعنده علم الغيب فهو يرى شكرا next one أماني أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر شكرا شكرا منى أفرأيت الذي كفر بآياتنا وقال لأوتن مالا وولدا 
اطلع الغيب ام اتخذ عند الرحمن عهدا كلا سنكتب ما يقول ونمد له من العذاب مدا ونرث ما يقول وياتينا فردا واتخذوا من دون الله الهه ليكونوا لهم عزا كلا سيكفرون بعبادتهم ويكونون عليهم ضدا شكرا سانا منى شكرا سانا نعم ني mwezi wa ramadhan mwezi ambapo qur'an umeweza kushukishwa na ni mwezi ambapo mtume muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam alishukishiwa qur'an na kaambiwa iqra kawaida mashindano ya ramadhan inafanyika sana mashindano ambayo ni ya kusoma Qur'an. Mashindano ya Qur'an yanafanyika haswa washindani wakiwa ni watoto katika ulimwengu mote mzima, si Kenya, si Tanzania, si Uganda, si hata Saudi Arabia. Wote ni watoto chini ya umri wa miaka misita hadi 12. Hii leo tumeweza kukibariki kipindi chetu na mahfadh kipindi yetu leo tukizungumzia swala la Qur'an na watoto kipindi ni tunu toto show Ramadan synchronized jina langu ni Ibtisam Jamal na ili kuweza kufanikisha kipindi hiki siku peke yangu kama kawaida niko na daktari niko na sheikh na niko na mzazi na niko na watoto tukianza salamu alaykum wa alaykum assalam daktari salamu alaykum wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh how are you i am very well i am very happy to be back here once again to take part in this very Shuk very nice shukran, program shukran shukran mwalimu salam alaykum wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa endelea dish nashukuru sana mwalimu anaitwa sheikh maali rabla sheikh abu najm assalam alaykum wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh nikianza na amani how old are you 11 years, years old Masha Allah. Muna, how old are you? 13 years old. Okay, give the mic to someone else. Uh, Yusra? I'm 12 years old. 12 years old, Masha Allah. Najma? I'm 16 years old. What? Okay, I'll start with uh, Najma. At what age did you attend Madrasa? I started going to Duxi in Kenya when I was 13. And now you are? I'm 16. Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Yusra, at what age did you start attending madrasa? I started attending madrasa when I was nine years old. Nine years old? In Kenya? Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Muna? I started, I started attending madrasa when I was nine years old. Nine years old? Yeah. Masha Allah. Amani? I started attending madrasa when I was seven years old. Okay, Amani. Before you can, you give you pass the mic to someone else. At what age did you start memorizing the Holy Quran? At uh, eight. Eight. And now you are? I'm eleven. Masha Allah. Yusra. At what age did you start memorizing the Holy Quran? I started memorizing the Holy Quran when I was nine years old. Nine years old. Masha Allah. Najma. I started memorizing the Holy Quran when I was 13. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Muna? I started memorizing Quran when I was 11 years old. Abu Najma, najua ukona mtoto ambao muhifadhe. Mtoto wako alianza kuhifadhe kwa na umbro mneka mngabe. Wallahi, wetu mapema sana. Like, akisha anza tu kuzungumza, anaanza, unampeleka madrasa, anaanza kusoma Alif B. Alifba, so hiyo ni kama tuseme two and a half, three years. Ready ya meenda madrasa. Sheikh, maalim, roble. Miaka mingapi ya mtoto anapaswa kwanza kuhifadhi Qur'an? Ina depend na venye, toto, ok. It depends with the kind of, the mind of this child. Some, ok, all kids are not the same. There are some who are very sharp, and there are some who are very slow. But I can say the average year is eight or nine years. So mtoto akiwa na umri wa miaka 8 anaweza kuanza kuhifadhi Qur'an. Yeah. Baada kwanza anasoma, uh. alafu sasa tunakuja kuhifadhi. Uh. Uh, if I start with you Najma since you have the mic. In your class, Duxin, the year you started 13 years old, did you experience any child who quit memorizing Qur'an? No. No. Were you tempted anyhow to quit Qur'an, memorizing the Qur'an, maybe because of school work or anything else? 
I was not tempted because every time I would read the Quran, I was more eager to learn. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Yusra, the same question. Did any of your classmates quote Quran, memorizing the Quran? No. No, MashaAllah. Were you tempted at any other point to quote Quran? No, because when I read the Quran, it felt so nice to read it mm -hmm. and to know the meaning of the Quran. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Muna, at any point, any of your classmates quit uh, the Holy Quran to memorize it? No. No. MashaAllah. And you? Yes. Did you want to quit Quran? Yeah. Memorizing the Quran? Yeah. Yes. Uh, why? Explain it to us with the mic holding it here. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to quit Quran? Memorizing the Quran. Make a kaapa. Mm -hmm. uh, were there any challenges you faced? That yeah. Was it difficult? Knowing that the Quran has been revealed in Arabic language, mm -hmm. which is our second language, mm -hmm. and in, in and also in different seven in seven different dialects. Uh. So it was. So what did you do? What made you continue? You'll answer me that later, isn't it? Okay. Amani, any of your classmates wanted to quit memorizing the Quran? No. Maybe because it was difficult, the language, what was the problem? No. No. What about you? No. Why? Because I loved my teacher, and uh -huh. he was like um, giving me the intention uh -huh. of reading Quran. Masha and he used to give me the explanation uh -huh. of the Quran. So I loved uh, my teacher so much, and he made me love Quran. The love of a teacher. Abu Najma, mtoto wako labda katika umri wake alipokuwa kihifadha alitaka labda kuacha kusoma Quran. Kuna nam kuna siku ambayo nafikiri Stad Roble hapa atatueleza zaidi. Uh -huh. uh, kuna Hifdul Quran si kitu raisi. Uh -huh. Inna sanulqi alayka qawlan thaqila. Uh -huh. Qur'ani ni mzito. Uh -huh. Hata Jibril alimbana Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Uh -huh. So there's a time ambapo ali it was very difficult for her. Uh -huh. Na unajua usipo hifadhi wangu pia yuko duksi kama hawa. Uh -huh. So wako na ile Ashir. Uh -huh. Sasa usipo hifadhi ile Ashir. Uh -huh. Kuna vile mwalimu anakuwa mgumu kwako. Eh hiyo mada tutaweza kuiendelea lakini ndiyo. ali kuna point alitaka kuacha. Eh ndio, ali it was very difficult for her na so I really had to encourage her even mm. there was a time tulika naye nyumbani. Mm. Sema kama umeshindwa huko let me help you at home. Mm. Then alhamdulillah sahi tena amerudi. Mashaallah. Mm. Mashaallah. Mm. Ukiona kwamba nitakuja kwako daktari. Ukiona kwamba ni watoto wadogo wameweza kuhifadhi na Quran kama tunavyojua ni ngumu. Alafu pia kuna notion kwamba watoto wanaohifadhi Quran IQ yao iko very high. Why is that? In that case. Well, uh, I must say I must start by saying this children are brilliant. Mm -hmm. The Sheikh said Quran is heavy. Mm. It's not easy. Mm. So for them to have achieved whatever they have is, is a very big step. Mm. However, when we're discussing IQ, we are looking at, you see, IQ is a test that measures different domains of intelligence. And memory is one of them, uh, the working memory or short memory. So what I can say, these children have stronger working memory, mm. which they have consolidated by repetition repetitive learning and rehearsals. So I can say for sure that they have a very good memory, okay? But uh, you see, we cannot uh, conclude by saying they have high IQ. They definitely are brilliant children, mm. but what is important in there now at where they are mm. is that they have a very good memory. MashaAllah. Yes, MashaAllah. Mm. Mm. How many juzu have you memorized, Najma? I have memorized 20 juice, but I have the fif I have 15. I won uh, the competition for 15. And you are 15 years, mashaAllah. Yusra, how many surahs have you memorized so far? Alhamdulillah, I memorized 10 juice. Uh, and you are just for 13? 12. 12, mashaAllah, subhanAllah, mashaAllah. Muna? 30 juice. MashaAllah. Amani? 
ما عشي إذن صورة الحجر ما شاء الله ما راجع ما شاء الله إذن فايف جوز ما شاء الله ما لمو ما شاء الله ما بروك تو أول أوف يو ما لمو why is that it is so easy for them to memorize the Holy Quran why someone like me it will be so hard for me kwa nini wao ni rahisi wao kushika Quran and not to me kwa watoto kama mimi takwa ni ngumu kwa lakini kwa wao watoto ni rahisi sana Okay, Come. to answer that question, mm. Mm. Uh, let's understand first of all the differences between an adult and a kid. Mm. If you look at a kid, mm. the mind is developing. Oh, sure. And the human body, there is a certain age that is reached, and that mm. is the end of the development of the human body. Mm. And also these brains of these kids, it's growing. Mm. So they have that very sharp brain that can grasp anything. Take an example like... Uh, a language mm. is one of the challenges that you face in language mm. that for example an adult like you you have been taken to somewhere mwalimu ngoja kidogo na muna unaweza mpa mwalimu pass the mic to the mwalimu shukran shukran uh -huh. so uh, can you start again yeah i'm okay. i'm repeating uh -huh. so when we look at these kids mm. their body and specifically their brains mm. and we look at our brains mm. so we reach an age and the human life that mm. uh, your body part everything has grown so mm. it cannot grow more but uh, if you look at these kids their brain is growing so they can grasp me so i was going for the example of a language uh. so if you can take me to a place where they are speaking different language mm. it's very hard for me to grasp that language mm. but if you take this kid to that you find a kid maybe she's not from that tribe or maybe she's not from that country but she's speaking all the languages because the mind is growing so mm. on the matters of uh, quran for them to memorize the whole Quran, first of all, yes, it is hard. It is hard. The memorization of the Quran is not an easy go, like you just relax and then you expect to memorize. You mm. have to go for it. Mm. But f even though it is hard, mm. Allah has made it simple. The moment that your heart is willing, yeah. then the kids can memorize. Shukran sana, mashallah, shukran kote. Na mtazamaji mtoto mzuri pupote polo lipo. Kumbuka unaweza kupigia simo katika omu yetu ya pili, katika nambaru zetu zileoko katika runinga zako. Au unaweza kutuma ujumbe mfupi, au pia unaweza kutupata kupitia mitando ya kijami ya Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Horizon TV Kenya. Tutapata pumziko fupi taregia badamuda usoko mbrefu. Horizon TV, Kurunzi ya Taifa. Wacha niongeza kirediti ingine ya msini, harafu nita kupigia sai sai. Ongeza ya miyamocha. Eh, mungaka, yeni unanipenda mbako umiambu kuniongeza kirediti ingine ya msini juu. Apana, shukwashi kuongeza ya mapenzi ya msini. Hapu tani kutunukie, ya toto kengine. Tunukie kwa sasa, iko na oba mungia ya kredo, tapo tapo. Kwa kasta hapo, 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 sta zero hazi. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdullah Abdi. I'm the chairman of NAMLEF, which is short for National Muslim Leaders Forum of Kenya. The holy month of Ramadan is the time when we do a self-assessment of our contributions to mankind and humanity. We have got thousands of refugee children who don't get education. Imagine if your child could not go to school. My appeal to you, my brothers and sisters, is this is the time for us to rise up. It's a moral obligation of each one of us here in Kenya as Muslims during this month for us to recognize this gap and for us to contribute generously so that we will be able to assist refugee children to further the education. We owe these children, we owe this future generation that we stand up now. Nimeregia 
kuzingatia tena kubwa na bora zaidi Tamasha la kimataifa la ununuzi sherekea mwisho wa mwezi wa Ramadhani na shamra shamra za Idul Fitri katika onyesho la biashara la 22 la Misri na Mashariki ya Kati Westland Sight Center njo kuanzia Jumatano tarehe 29 mwezi wa Mei hadi tarehe 9 mwezi wa Juni mwaka 2019 Furahia bidhaa zetu mari dadi na zenye thamani kuanzia fanicha, mazulia vyombo vya jikoni vyakula pazia vifaa vya kutumia umeme vya nyumbani vipodozi nguo bidhaa za ngozi manukato na bidhaa nyingi nyinginezo kutoka Misri, India, Iran, Kenya, Pakistan, Uturuki, Syria na Singapore. Usikose fursa kutembelea onyesho kubwa zaidi la biashara kila siku kuanzia saa 4 asubuhi hadi saa mbili usiku na upate bidhaa kwa bei ya hadi punguzo la asilimia hamsini. Njo usherekee mwisho wa Ramadhani na ukaribishe Eid al-Fitri katika onyesho la biashara la 22 la Misri na Mashariki ya Kati Sarit Center Westlands kuanzia Jumatano tarehe 29 mwezi wa Mei hadi tarehe tisa mwezi wa Juni kuanzia saa nne asubuhi hadi saa mbili usiku kiingilio ni bure In the heart of the city center lies Kilimanjaro Jamia restaurant a family friendly halal certified restaurant with a wide array of continental Somali Indian and African dishes With close proximity to Jamia Mosque this Ramadan get great iftar packages Kilimanjaro restaurant welcomes you and wishes you and your family a happy Ramadan 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 ya Habib Do you want to know the true meaning of luxury? Well, Aya Residence is Kileleshwa's newest luxury apartment project on Makweni Road off Oloitoktok Road, overlooking the Kisichwa River Valley, just moments away from Valley Arcade. It is an architectural gem located near the new Kileleshwa Mosque, designed with a sleek contemporary feel, complemented by choice amenity. The development features two three and four bedroom apartments all with domestic servant quarters with superb amenities this project will be completed in december 2021 prices start from 17.8 million kenyan shillings contact us on 0704191919 or 0704080808 or 0707252525 or email us on adwalkhalil2 at gmail.com Our head office is at the ground floor FCB Mehrab building along Lenana Road in Nairobi. Our website is www.aad.ke At Umma University, we create the difference required to mark the unique in the market. Attention to detail, student professor collaboration. We care about your knowledge and physical well-being. No matter where you come from, Umma University welcomes you home away from home. We accept government sponsored students and transfers from other recognized universities. Full scholarships, partial scholarships, and interest-free loans are available. May intake is ongoing for the following courses: Bachelor of Business Management, Bachelor of Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Masters of Arts in Islamic studies bachelor of arts in islamic studies bachelor of arts in islamic sharia and now the newly introduced diploma in education among other diploma and certificate courses apply today for may 2019 intake on www.umma.ac.ke or call us on 0739969022 umma university fostering knowledge and innovation Home is a place for love, hope and dreams. Secure your family a place to call home by investing in Gardenia Estate for only 795,000 Kenyan shillings for an eighth of an acre. Positioned in a family-oriented neighborhood, Gardenia Estate provides a serene environment and great ambience and scenic views of Kilimambogo. Username is also offering selling planes Konza at a discounted price of only 299,000 Kenyan shillings for an eighth of an acre located in close proximity to Konza Technopolis this is an opportunity to invest affordably in the Konza area before the full establishment of the city and enjoy appreciation of land prices as a result of in structural growth 
Viewing is free. Join us for our site visits on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We will provide transportation joyfully at our own cost. Invest today and enjoy a flexible payment plan with no interest. SMS the word PLOT to 20321 or call us today on 0725 triple zero triple two username investments limited a tradition of trust <laughs> Walk with us as we tell you the stories of our society. Wengine atavaa mtandio kichwani utafikiri ni kijihanka chief. Enzi za wakati wa kusema ati alisema akasisitiza akihutubia na habari enzi hizo hazipo tena. Ukuchimbua na kuna kilima tukio kwa ndani. We want to create current awareness ranging from adventure <laughs> human interest and inspirational stories ili kuweza kukuelimisha kukuburudisha na kukubumbuisha words have been said but now it is time to lay the foundation that will impact the world terrorism is terrorism no matter who is behind the trigger Horizon TV, the beacon for the nation. Assalamualaikum karibu tena katika umi yetu ya pili ya kipindi Tunu Toto Show. Katika umi yetu ya kwanza tumeweza kuzungumza jinsi ya mtoto na hifadhi Qur'an na ana miaka mingapi kama tulivyoona ni watoto wadogo na mahifadhi juzu nyingi. Paka mimi pia najiona ni kama nataregea tena kwa wao wao waniweze kunifundisha kwa sababu ni kitu inachonipa mimi competition. Mimi ni mkubwa na wamenishinda kusoma Qur'an, si ndivyo? Na mtoto mzuri popote polo ulipo kumbuka unaweza kupiga simu katika awamu yetu ya pili na ya tatu. Nambari zetu ziko katika runinga zako. Unaweza kutuma ujumbe mfupi au unaweza kutufasa kupitia mitandao ya kijamii ya Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at Horizon TV Kenya. Yusra baadhi wa billahi minash shaitani rajim muna. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul huwa Allah ahad. الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد شكرا سنا يسرى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل اعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد شكرا سانا نجمة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأما من خاف مقام ربه ونهى النفس عن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المأوى يسألونك عن الساعة أيان مرساها فيما أنت من ذكراها إلى ربك منتهاها إنما أنت منذر من يغشاها كأنهم يوم يرونها لم يلبثوا 
لم يلبثوا إلا عشية أو ضحاها شكرا شكرا أماني أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس شكرا سنة صدق الله العظيم سيني كومبتيشن تتعنزا أنا وفندو أنغو كلي نفكري تقاني أبو نجمة تست ما شاء الله انت مليزة سوالي يسرى 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 بعوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تصوم كونزية يبصرونهم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يبصرونهم يود المجرم لو يفتدي من عذاب يومئذ ببنيه وصاحبته وأخيه وفصيلته التي تؤويه ومن في الأرض جميعا ثم ينجي حسبك حسبك أماني ممكن تقرأين من قوله تعالى أعد الله لهم عذابا شديدا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعد لهم عذابا أعد الله لهم أعد الله لهم عذابا شديدا فاتقوا إنهم إنهم ساء ما كانوا يعملون أي صورة مجادلة أوكي ممكن تقرأين من قوله تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا طلقتم النساء أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها النبي إذا طلقتم النساء فطلقوهن لعدتهن وأص العدة واتقوا الله يا أولي الألباب الذين آمنوا واتقوا الله ربكم اتقوا الله ربكم لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن ولا يخرجن إلا أن يأتين بفاحشة مبينة ما شاء الله حسبك مولاد فتاح سؤال سورة عبسة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عبس وتولى أن جاءه الأعمى وما يدريك لعله يزكى أو يذكر فتنفعه الذكر أما من استغنى فأنت له تصدى وما عليك ألا يزكى وأما من جاء وأما من جاءك يسعى أسبق ما شاء الله أسبق يزبك دكتوري نجمة is a champion so we'll ask her very hard إن شاء الله يقرأ من قول الله تعالى أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم علمة نفس ما قدمت وأخرت علمت نفس ما قدمت وأخرت يا أيها الإنسان ما غرك بربك الكريم الذي خلقك فسواك فعدلك في أي صورة ما شاء ركبك كلا بل تكذبون بالدين وإن عليكم لحافظين 
Shukran sana. Na mtoto mzuri popote pale ulipo katika karibu katika ombi yetu ya pili ni awamu bado hifdhi alquran na kuhifadhi Qur'an lakini pia ni mambo rahisi. Ni jambo la kufurahisha ni watoto wadogo paka wanasoma paka malaika malaika yango na sisimka. Kumbuka unaweza kupiga simu katika awamu yetu ya pili na ya tatu nambari zetu ziko katika runinga yako na pia unaweza kutuma ujumbe mfupi unaweza kutupata kupitia mitandao ya kijamii ya Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at Horizon TV Kenya. Mwalimu, ni jinsi gani unaweza msaidia mtoto kuhifadhi Qur'an? Je, unatumia force? Okay. Okay. To answer that question, uh, mm -hmm. ni jinsi gani how can I uh, how can you help, help. Uh -huh. child a kid, memorize a child or a kid to memorize the Quran? Yes. First of all, right. everything comes from the child's heart. Mm. So before you force, before you do anything, talk to the child, let the child know the beauty of the Quran. Mm. So when the heart of the child accepts, mm. then memorization will be easy. You don't have to force. Don't have to force. You don't have to force. Just go deep into the heart of the kid. Yeah. The moment she accepts, everything is going to be smooth. Abu Najma. No, Do you think force can be used? Because to incident, you think we are going to use force? No, we are not going to use force. So I hear. And um, I think Vile Malimu Amesema. Hmm. Ojo kama sahi dunia mendelea kuna so many ways ya kufanya mtoto wa pende ile kitu anasoma. Uh, kuna videos, kuna projectors, kuna rewards. Hata Allah sisi ya metuwekea janna. You know, if you do this, you'll get this. Mm. So I think uh, walimu wa kitumia hiyo njia ya incentives, ya price giving, ya motivation, it will work with these kids. Uh, kuna, there was a time shule tulipata mtoto mmoja ambaye aliletwa in one of the primary schools. Na alikuwa mepigwa sana. Na ni mtoto ambaye alikuwa na kuna tafidh. Mm. So kumekua na uh, some of these cases uh, and I think Walimu wa sasa kama kina Roble, mm, I think kama wametumia hiyo approach ya kufanya Qurani kwa attractive kwa mtoto, I think that's very good yani kwa na hiyo. Uh, I will come back for the kids to ask the same question. Lakini mwalimu swali kwako, okay. ushawa hi labda kupata watoto ambao wani, wanataka kuacha kusoma Qurani, teenagers who want to quit. How do you deal with such things? Na wamekua kama wadogo wameanza vizuri like at the age of eight, like you said, six, seven. Wameanza kifika teenagers, wamekata. Lakini kamda hudia jibu wacha tupate kusikiza mtoto mzuri pupote pala lipo takutuwa mbea nini. Salamu alikum, Horizon TV, hello. Aha. Hello. Hello. Salamu alikum. Wa alikum salamu wa rasulullah wa rakan. Na ungeana nani na unapigia kutuka wapi? Una unungea na suleka. Zuleha, naomba punguza sauti ya TV yako. Ya TV yako. Punguza sauti ya TV kidogo. Zuleha, Zuleha. Punguza sauti ya TV yako lafu endale, tumenaona, tumeza kumpeteza. Mtoto mzuri ama mzazi unapopigia simu naomba upunguze sauti ya TV yako. Mwalimu tuendele. Labda ni regele swali. Niko sawa. So, tuwezi sema that every teacher is a perfect. You have some challenges, you have some ups and downs. But you have to take it all. So, mtoto wakiwa miaka nane, miaka tisa, bado ni mdogo. Hata Rasul anasema hata swala unafaa kidogo, kusukuma kidogo. Lakini kuna kiwango akifika miaka 12, miaka 13. That age sometimes the Quran is not easy. Sometimes hajui hashari yake. So consecutive as wajua hashari siku mbili tatu it feels like maybe quitting. So at such a time what you should be doing take the kid kana chini reason with him tell him yeah, as I was start to say that, uh, give him some, like us, we have been given the paradise, so we have to work for it. Mm -hmm. Tell him the importance of memorizing the Quran. And the, once the child knows that there is a memorization of the Quran, there is a reward, and this and this, then he's going to go for it. Yeah, so it's a matter of speaking and counseling the child. So you don't have to fuss, uh, use force, or just leave the kid, mm -hmm. run away from the madrasa, no. Horizon TV, hello. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Naongea na nani na unapiga kutoka wapi? 
how will you react and how will you deal with it Eh, As a parent, because you are a parent. Eh, m, eh, unajua mtoto pia ya na haki. Mm. So akikuja akikwambia kitu kama hiyo, it's upon the, the parent mzazi mm. angalie sababu ni nini. Mm -hmm. So kama eh, pengine nile madrasa anasoma, kuna frustration nini, ni kubadilisha kutafuta alternative. Mm. Kwa hivyo I think yani uh, mimi namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ya kwamba Sidhani mtoto wangu anaweza kuja kuniuliza swali kama hiyo. Mm -hmm. Badata akija kuuliza ni kwamba taendelea kumu encourage na kumfanya kuwa strong na mm -hmm. kumkumbusha wa masumi ya insanu ila linasihi. Sangine binadamu wanasahau umuhimu wa kitu. Okay. Kwa hivyo nitamkumbusha na kumotivate once again. Motivations like food we need it every day. Tampa moyo tena ndio mm -hmm. aendelee kuendelea na kuhifadhi. Naam, shukran Naam. sana, shukran sana. Naam, mtoto mzuri na mtazamaji popote pale ulipo. Shukran sana. Tupate pumziko fupi tarejea baada muda usioko mrefu. Kumbuka tumekuandalia mengi zaidi. Mada ni Qur'an na watoto. Tunane baada muda usioko mrefu. Horizon TV, the beacon for the nation. Ramadan Timetable is brought to you by the Labake account from First Community Bank. Open a Labake account with First Community Bank and save for Hajj. First Community Bank, driven by ethics. Ramadan Timetable is brought to you by the Labake account from First Community Bank. Open a Labake account with First Community Bank and save for Hajj. First Community Bank, driven by ethics. Horizon Television. Abu Najma with kids. We learn Quran. We learn Quran. We learn Quran. We learn Quran. We learn Hadith. We learn Hadith. We learn Hadith. We learn Hadith. We learn the doers. We learn the doers.
Kalamu imeinuliwa ime kwa watu sampuli tatu. Yaani hawaandikiwi madhambi. Wa kwanza mtoto mdogo paka atakapo balehe. Mtu amelala, akaota, akazungumza, akapiga makelele, eh, akabobokwa, haandikiwi madhambi. Na mtu ambaye ni mwandazimu paka akili yake itakaporudi. Yoyote miongoni mwenu ambaye atakuwa ni mgonjwa au ala safarin au atakuwa katika safari fa'itta tu min ayamin ukhar anaruhusiwa kula kisha atalipa baadaye muhimu zile ambazo wadaiwa uziweke hisabu na kila ukilipa uondoshe uondoshe paka utakapomaliza Watching Horizon Television, the beacon for the nation. Assalamu alaikum karibu tena katika omu yetu ya tatu na ya mwisho ya tunu toto show Mada yetu ni Quran na watoto Katika omu yetu ya pili tumeza kuangalia jinsi mtoto anapaswa kuchukua njia gani kweza kuhifanzi Na kama tulivodio wa shekha alivusema kutumia force Nope, haitakikani. Katika umetu ya tatu pia tuna mambo mingi tumeza kukuandalia. Kumbuka mtuto mzuri popote pale ulipo, unaweza kupiga simu, unaweza kutuma ujumbe fupi. Nambari zetu ziku katika runinga yako. Na katika mitendo ya kijami at Horizon TV Kenya kwa Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Baada audhu billahi mina shaitani rajim najma. Audhu billahi mina shaitani rajim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر شكرا سامة أماني بس المايك تو شكرا أمي باتا ها أماني مايك هي أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها النبي إذا طلقتم النساء فطلقوهن لعدتهن وأحصل العدة واتقوا الله ربكم لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن ولا يخرجن إلا أن يأتين بفاحشة مبينة وتلك حدود الله ومن يتعد حدود الله فقد ظلم نفسه شكرا لا تدري لعل الله يحدث بعد ذلك امرا شكرا سانا شكرا سانا ذا نيكست نو يسرى النجمه بسيت تو يسرى شكرا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا ايها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم وليدين شكرا سامة منى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى قال رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري 
وحلو العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من أهلي هارون أخي اشدد به أزري وأشركه في أمري كي نسبحك كثيرا ونذكرك كثيرا إنك كنت بنا بصيرا قال قد أوتيت سؤلك يا موسى ولقد مننا عليك مرة أخرى سلامك الله عليك شكرا دكتور إن كومنت The recitation. How all of them recite so well. Mashallah, I I am very amazed by the level of tajweed and 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 you know the knowledge of the Quran. You must appreciate the alim for for the efforts. He's done a very good job. Mashallah. Yeah, a very good job. Yes, yes. Sasa malimu. How do you deal with the situation? Ambapo mtoto anataka kuhifadhi Quran, lakini kila kijaribu hawezi. Akijaribu hawezi. Njia zote mimi majaribu hawezi. How? Let me tell you one thing for fact. Uh -huh. There is nothing like impossible. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. remove the word impossible there completely. Mm -hmm. So, you can try, you can try. a thousand times, mm -hmm. but you will succeed. So Success is always there. After hardship, there is a relief. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. never put in your mind that uh, you try two times, three times, four times, five times, and then say, So, to never give up. Never give up. Assalamualaikum, Horizon TV. Hello? Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Na ungeana nani na unapiga kutoka wapi? Ni nani? Naitwa Kutoka wapi? Mandera. Mandera mashaallah. Unataka kusoma Quran? Ndio. Ah, so ma, bada udu billahi mina shaitani rajim. sana tumekosa bahati mbaya lakini unaweza kupiga tena. Sawa, shukran sana, shukran sana. Abu Najma. Kama mzazi una play role gani katika kuhakikisha ule mtoto anahifadhi? Na kwa njia ambayo si force. Naam. Kwanza kabisa lazima tuelewe ya kwamba kama alivyosema Allah, makana abuki mra'a sau'in wa makanat ummu kibaghia. Watoto wana kopi wazazi wana emulate wazazi wanafanya vile wazazi wana wana kopi hiyo tabia so mfano e, wale watoto wana hifadhi mm -hmm. wakirudi nyumbani lazima wasaidiwe na wazazi mm -hmm. so just imagine ya kwamba sahi e, watu wa, watake kusikia wasitake kuna baadhi ya wazazi wetu wa Kiislamu mm -hmm. haizi kusoma Qurani kwa lugha ya Kiarabu mm -hmm. na mtoto wake yuko tahfidh mm -hmm. Hasa unaona huyu mzazi anakuwa at a greater disadvantage because hawezi kusaidia ule mtoto. So kitu ambaye mimi nasema ni kwamba despite ya kwamba walimu wako na kazi yao katika duksi, madrasa mm. lazima mtoto pia saidike okay. nyumbani. Mm. Ndio wanasema education ni PTA, Parents Teachers Association. Mm. Okay. Na ni mzazi ni nguzo katika nguzo ya tahfidh. Okay. Asupport ule mtoto amsikize akiwa nyumbani yeah. na mwalimu pia aweze ku ku kumuhifadhisha mtoto na kufanya kazi yake. I think so ni partnership. Mm. So lazima kuna balance. Lazima kuwa na balance. Uh, Shukran. Mm. Sasa nataka ku, ku, kuregea kwa watoto. Nianze na Yusra. Yusra, is there any sura or aya which was so hard for you to memorize at any given time? That was so hard you had to try at least several times for it to memorize to be memorized. Well Surah Al-A'raf uh -huh. is really hard to memorize and itself is really hard. Mm. Can you read it now? At least two ayahs. <laughs> it's still hard for you. Huh? 
Okay, we'll get back to you. Shukran sana. Najma? Was there any surah which was so hard or ayah for you? It gave you a really hard time. It didn't give me a hard time, but I had to repeat it a lot of times to get my voice right for the teacher's expectations. Which surah was that? Surah Al-Jinn. Can you read it now? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. قل أوحي إلي أنه استمع نفر من الجن فقالوا فقالوا إنا سمعنا قرآنا عجبا يهدي إلى الرشد فآمنا به ولن نشرك بربنا أحدا وأنه تعالى جد ربنا ما اتخذ ما اتخذ صاحبة ولا ولدا شكرا شكرا ما شاء الله ما شاء الله صدق الله العظيم أماني ذا سم كلسون was there any surah or ayah which was so hard for you to memorize which one? Uh, Can you read it now, even if it's two ayahs? Uh, yeah. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya ayyuhal muzzammil. Qumi al-layla illa qalila. نصفه أو انقص منه قليلا أو زد عليه ورتل القرآن ترتيلا إنا سنلقي عليك قولا ثقيلا إن ناشئة الليل هي أشد وطأ وأقام قيلا إن لك في النهار سبحا طويلا واذكر اسم ربك بكرة وأصيلا ومن الليل فجد له وسبحه ليلا طويلا. ما شاء الله صدق الله العظيم. منى، was there any surah which was so hard for you to memorize even if it's an ayah you had to struggle. which one? the mic here. وده. بيا. أها. تسمي آية كدوجو. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. لا يسمعون حسيسها وهم في مشتات أنفسهم خالدون لا يحزنهم الفزع الأكبر وتتلقاهم الملائكة هذا هذا يومكم الذي كنتم توعدون يوم نطوي السماء كطي السجل للكتب كما بدأنا كما بدأنا أول خلق نعيده وعدا علينا إنا كنا فاعلين صدق الله العلي العظيم مليم uh, how does a child manage madrasa, school, part of Hifz al-Quran, and still have time to struggle to dance, ama to have fun, play as a kid, maybe watch TV if they want to, or do whatever they want to in their free time? Okay, so on matter of balancing the secular, that is the education, secular education, and the Quranic too, hmm. uh, like uh, from the madrasa that I am, Musa bin Umair, Mm. We are integrated both the schooling mm. and uh, the madrasa. If you look at Najma, Najma is still a hafiz. She's managing Quran. She's still mm. schooling. Yusra is the same, and uh, Moon is mm. also the same. So, uh, on the matters of uh, trying to balance these two, at first of all is uh, these kids come very early in the morning, so they got, they have to go for the Quranic classes when the mind is very fresh, mm. and then at eight. They go for the secular classes. Inshallah. And then there is the break time. Sometimes you give them the break, they enjoy. Inshallah. But sometimes as a teacher, if you feel that uh, Najma is not okay today, mm. the Ashar is not good, you can a little bit steal the time. 
oh. over a break and then you try to to make her remember the Quran but it's balancing so long as your mind is there so at evening again as from four we are pushing it Mashallah. so sometimes as a teacher you have to give it yeah you have to sacrifice your time maybe you give her the time during the day to play but knowing that after Asr prayer you are rolling her back up to maybe even seven and then you take her home Mashallah. make sure that she's safe so everything is planned yeah. which foods should children eat or exercise or sleeping pattern in order for their brains to be more sharper well uh, these children need to protect their memory mm -hmm. uh, for you to have a good memory you have to eat well isn't mm -hmm. it which kind of food you have to eat good you have to have good nutrition balanced diet mm -hmm. different foods give us different nutrients mm -hmm. that help our body and our mind isn't it mm -hmm. The foods that uh, different foods like let's say now grains mm. give us glucose. Mm -hmm. Glucose is a source of energy for the brain. Mm. So for our, for our brain to function well, we need to have food that's rich in glucose. That's grains, isn't it? Proteins help us, you know, grow our brain tissues, isn't it? Mm. Different proteins give us different nutrients. Like fish give us omega three, DHA. Those are things that you know develop the brain. Okay. Uh, milk is good for the brain. It's a, it's a source of, it's a source of, it's a protein, isn't it? Uh, you need fruits. You need vegetables. Vegetables, green vegetables, give us iron. You know iron? Who knows iron? <laughs> iron is good for brain development. It's good for the blood, isn't it? All right. So we need to peanuts are good for the brain. So so long as you're taking a balanced diet, in adequate amounts, mm. you have you'll have a good nutrition for your brain, all right? Do you have an adequate diet? Do you eat? Malum, do they eat well in the school? <laughs> <laughs> so they need to have time. By the way, children are not like adults. The mistake that we make as, mm -hmm. as, as teachers, as, as parents, mm. is that we, need, we want our children to feed like adults. Mm. Three meals a day is not possible. These children are using the brain quite often. Mm. They need to remember a lot of things. They need to play a lot. They use a lot of energy. And sleeping pattern? Well, uh, is there a sleeping pattern which the, they should the, follow? They, they, you see, for memory, mm, for memory. Uh, sleeping time, when you sleep adequately, your memory gets consolidated. You retain the things you have learned. Oh. So what happens if you don't sleep well? <laughs> when a child is sleep deprived, what happens is that they don't focus in the school. Mm. They're tired, they're fatigued, they sleep most of the time, isn't it? Yes, it's true. So for them to focus, they need to sleep well. For their memory to be strong, to be strengthened, they need to sleep adequate amount of time, isn't it? And a regular, regular, you know, periods, yeah? You don't sleep, you sleep the same time, wake up the same time every night, so that you have a regular sleep pattern, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Who will start? Najma. Any surah, short. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. لإلاف قريش إلافهم رحلة الشتاء والصيف فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت الذي أطعمهم من جوع وآمنهم وآمنهم من خوف Shukran <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بل أتيناهم بالحق وإنهم لكاذبون ما اتخذ الله من 
ولد وما كان معه من إله إذا لذهب كل إله بما خلق ولا على بعضهم على بعض سبحان الله عما يصفون عالم الغيب والشهادة فتعالى عما يشركون صدق الله العظيم أمنا أمانة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل همزة لمزة الذي جمع مالا وعدده يحسب أن ماله أخلده كلا لينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة نار الله الموقدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مقصدة في عمد ممددة شكرا سنة شكرا سنة نيوتي كوكوديا thank you so much for coming أبو نجمة شكرا سنة وليمو شكرا دكتاري شكرا سنة بودي إلى kutamatisha kipindi chetu cha leo mtoto mzuri popote pale ulipo pole sana hatukuweza kuuliza swali la siku na kupea zawadi lakini wiki ijayo tutaweza kuandalia tena competition nyingine ambapo tutatoa zawadi mbili kwa washindi wawili na watoto wote waliokuwa hapo pia wataenda na vitabu kata si of absar kazmi wote wataenda na vitabu waende akasome nyumbani shukran sana kwa yoyote mzazi mwalimu na watoto wote Swali ni tuko tayari kuweza kujikakamua kuweza kuhifadhisha watoto wetu Qur'an na kutumia nguvu si suluhisho naitwa Ibtisam Jamal endelea kutazama Horizon TV kipindi kijacho ni The Majlis غردي يا روح 